Geely Automobile Holdings has introduced its next-generation hybrid system, the Lycian EMI, designed to compete directly with BYD's well-regarded DMI system, renowned for its impressive fuel economy. The announcement was made at a recent event, where Geely positioned the Lycian EMI as a super-hybrid system aimed at mainstream consumers, emphasizing its technological advancements in engine and transmission efficiency. Geely's new hybrid system boasts an engine thermal efficiency of 46.5%, a significant figure that underscores its commitment to fuel efficiency. The Lycian MI system is reported to enable test vehicles to achieve an impressive driving range of up to 2,390 km while consuming an average of just 2.62 liters of fuel per 100 km. This makes it particularly appealing to consumers seeking economical, driving solutions without compromising on performance. The Lycian EMI is specifically tailored for fuel economy, serving as a counterpoint to Gila's previously introduced Lycian EMP system, which focuses more on performance. This strategic naming convention mirrors BYD's approach, where their hybrid systems are differentiated into the fuel-efficient DMI and the performance-oriented DMP, allowing consumers to choose based on their driving needs. BYD has been a dominant player in the hybrid and electric vehicle EV, market, launching its first-generation DM hybrid technology platform back in 2008. The company's advancements in hybrid technology continued with the introduction of its fourth-generation DM platform in 2021, which created distinct variants aimed at performance and efficiency. More recently, in May 2023, BYD unveiled its fifth-generation DM technology, or DM 5.0, which offers a thermal efficiency of 46.06%, the highest globally at that time. BYD's vehicles using this technology can achieve fuel consumption as low as 2.9 liters per 100 kilometers, with a combined range reaching up to 2,100 kilometers. The rapid development and deployment of BYD's hybrid systems have contributed to its rise in the automotive market. Over the past few months, BYD has launched several models, based on the DM 5.0 platform, including the Qin LDMI, Seal 06 DMI, Song LDMI, and the 2025 Song Plus DMI, solidifying its leadership position in the industry. In contrast, Geely is working to regain its competitive edge in the rapidly evolving automotive landscape. Its Lycian MI system is expected to be integrated into several upcoming models, including the Galaxy Starship 7, Galaxy L6, and L7. The Galaxy Starship 7 will be the first vehicle to feature the new hybrid system, with its unveiling anticipated in November. This strategic move is part of Gila's broader initiative to enhance its hybrid offerings and attract environmentally conscious consumers. In the first nine months of the year, BYD reported retail sales of 2,466,607 units in China, securing the top spot in the passenger car market with a 15.8% share, according to the China Passenger Car Association CPCA. In contrast, Geely ranked second with a 7.6% share, selling 1,176,259 units during the same period. This substantial gap in sales figures highlights the growing dominance of BYD in the Chinese automotive market, as well as the challenge Geely faces in reclaiming its position. As both companies continue to innovate and expand their hybrid technology, the competition is likely to intensify. Geely's introduction of the Lycian EMI system represents a significant step in its strategy to offer highly fuel-efficient vehicles that can compete effectively with BYD's established technologies. Analysts will be closely watching how the market responds to Gila's new offerings and whether they can close the gap with BYD in terms of sales and market share. In conclusion, the unveiling of Gila's Lycian EMI hybrid system is a crucial development in the ongoing battle for dominance in the Chinese automotive market. With both BYD and Geely pushing the boundaries of hybrid technology, Consumers can expect to see more efficient, high-performance vehicles in the near future. The outcome of this rivalry will not only shape the future of these two companies but also influence the broader landscape of the global automotive industry as it moves towards more sustainable and eco-friendly solutions. Hello and welcome to the Electric Explorer. Thank you for subscribing to our channel. We bring you the latest and hottest news on electric mobility every day. We're excited to introduce three membership levels, Circuit Squires, Tesla Knights, and Volt Sovereigns. Each level offers exclusive perks and content tailored for EV enthusiasts. Your support helps us deliver engaging video updates daily and keeps you connected to the EV community. Join us and be a part of the electric revolution.
The Geely Galaxy Starship 7 crossover with the Nord Thor 2.0 plug-in hybrid system will launch in China on November the 4th. It is a 4.7-meter SUV with over 2,000 kilometers of mixed range. Geely Galaxy is an NEV brand under Geely Group launched last year. Its current model line comprises for models, L7 and E5 crossovers, and L6 and E8 sedans. In the first nine months of 2024, Geely Galaxy sold 153,592 cars. In April 2024, this brand displayed the Galaxy Starship concept car with the Norther 2.0 FEV system at the Beijing Auto Show. The first car under the newly formed Starship series is the Starship 7 crossover. It will enter the market on November the 4th. The Geely Galaxy Starship 7 applied for the sales license in September. It is a mid-size crossover with dimensions of 4,741,905th. 1,685 mm and a wheelbase of 2,755 mm. It stands on Gila's recent GE at Global Intelligent Electric Architecture platform. This architecture is also referred to as Geely of I Digital Chassis. Previously, the Geely Galaxy E5 electric SUV adopted this chassis. Regarding exterior styling, the Galaxy Starship 7 stays in line with the Galaxy's latest design language. It adopts thin, running lights joined by an LED strip. The front bumper has an X-shaped pattern, with integrated high beams and a trapeze-shaped air intake. The Galaxy Starship 7 adopts conventional door handles and a large sunroof. From the back, it has a thin taillight unit and hidden exhaust pipes. The interior of the Geely Galaxy Starship 7 has a two-spoke steering wheel with a gear shifter behind. The center console integrates a large suspended screen. There are two wireless phone charging pads, and a pair of cup holders in the center tunnel. Other features include a head-up display add and a thin LCD instrument panel. Geely Galaxy Starship 7 Powertrain The Geely Galaxy Starship 7 adopts the Nord Thor 2.0 plug-in hybrid powertrain. It comprises a 1.5-liter naturally aspirated engine with 82 kW, 110 horsepowers, and two electric motors. It consumes 2.62 L, 100 km and has a peak mixed range of up to 2,390 km. The Geely Galaxy Starship 7 has two battery options, 19.09 kWh for a 101 km electric range, and 29.9 for kWh for a 150 km electric range. With a drained battery, the Geely Galaxy Starship 7 has a fuel consumption of 4.9 liters per 100 km. Thanks for watching.